Welcome back to this final video in our short series on managing latent TB in the community. At this stage, we've talked about making a diagnosis of latent TB, starting treatment with isoniazid, and supporting your patient through a six-month treatment course. In this video, we'll look at wrapping things up and focus on the final visit and what to do when treatment is finished. The first step is recognizing when treatment is complete. Our pathway focuses on six months of isoniazid treatment for effective clearance of latent TB, but it's helpful to know that studies have also looked at giving much longer courses of treatment, and World Health Organization guidelines consider between six to nine months of isoniazid to be equivalent. You want to make sure that your patient has had at least six months of tablets then, but it's not critical to stop precisely at that point. Six months of tablets is 180 days worth, and if there have been interruptions to treatment or missed doses for whatever reason, you shouldn't stop at six calendar months from the start, but keep going until they've taken the 180 tablets. When they have completed therapy, I always start by saying that the most important message I have for them is congratulations. I'm conscious that people with latent TB by definition have no symptoms, and so they've taken six months of treatment without feeling any better because of it. It's important at this stage to acknowledge that, and to give them some encouragement that that's been worth doing. Now at this stage, we're not planning to do any further testing or routine follow-up. Repeat screening chest x-rays are not needed, as they have a very low yield, and this person has already completed treatment. They don't need to have repeat MAN2 testing or interferon gamma release assays, as these are expected to stay positive lifelong. You should also let them know that the treatment they've had is very effective in reducing the risk of active TB, but it's not 100%. And if they were sick in future, it would still be important to let their healthcare providers know about it and investigate as appropriate. Bringing it all together, I say something like this. Congratulations. It's not easy to take tablets for six months, but you've done a great job. That's been a really worthwhile effort, and you've greatly reduced your risk of ever getting sick with TB in the future. I can't say that there's no risk of getting sick with TB, because nothing is perfect, and it's possible to be infected again. However, the risk of that happening is very low. So low that you don't need any more tests or follow-up for this, and you will never need to have treatment for latent TB again. The last thing I do in this visit is I write a summary letter for their latent TB treatment to document what's happened for their medical records. Uh, this is particularly important because tests for latent TB stay positive long term, and if they were to be retested in the future, we want to make sure that they're not accidentally given another course of treatment. My letters document what treatment has been given, including any side effects or treatment interruptions, and state that there are no plans for routine testing or follow-up in future. For the benefit of healthcare workers and others who might have latent TB tests done as part of work screening, I add that these tests are expected to stay positive and they should never be repeated. I also say that immune suppressing therapies can now be given where indicated and give a copy to the patient for their own medical records. To help you out with this process, there's a template letter available on the Victorian Tuberculosis Program website which you can download and use. That brings us to the end of this video series. Thank you for taking the time to think more about how to safely and effectively manage latent TB in your practice. This is an important service for preserving and promoting the long-term health of our patients and communities, and part of how we can work together to get rid of TB. So thank you for partnering with me.